What's up everyone, this is Mike from MyGadgets World well, and I'm back with another video and it's about the Nvidia Shield TV and how you can play the Dolby Atmos through the Plex server. So there are a few settings that you have to do in your uh, Plex Media server. There's no such setting that you have to do in your uh, Nvidia Shield TV because it's based off uh, Android platform and it is already Dolby Atmos enabled unlike the Apple TV struggling right now to bring in the uh, the update for Apple TV 4K which is so weird right now like they have released two better releases and couldn't resolve this issue same goes with the Xbox they don't have the audio switching option available right now so whatever you play is gonna be played in Dolby Atmos so so far my experience the Nvidia Shield is the best device for Plex server which can do HDR and which can also do the Dolby Atmos the only thing it doesn't do is the Dolby Vision so Apple TV can do that so it's so messed up that S the no device is perfect so look at the Apple TV it can do HDR10 it can do Dolby Vision but uh, it cannot do Dolby Atmos as of now completely there is partially update available which some content can do Dolby Atmos and some can do but in future there will be Dolby Atmos but the worst is that YouTube doesn't support 4k video files so you're gonna be stuck at 1080p resolution files if you're using 4k as your standalone uh, you know media play device for your home theater now let's come to this Dolby, uh, no sorry, we're gonna come to the Nvidia Shield. So Nvidia Shield can do HDR10, it can do 4K YouTube, it does Dolby Atmos out of the box, no issues at all, you can play it on Voodoo, you can play it on uh, Netflix. So this is so good over here, the only thing missing is the Dolby Vision. So is it a big deal? Uh, not really because there's not so much content available for Dolby Vision as of now. So the mostly the content available is in HDR10 and the Dolby Atmos. So that's what you needed. And it can do the Plex Dolby Atmos as well. So for me, I think it is the most underrated device so far because everybody is looking at Apple, oh, they're bringing Atmos, but they're ignoring the fact that this thing is already available in the market and open source. You can have a lot of apps for Android as compared to the Apple TV. Um, I like the interface of the Apple TV. It's so uh, clean, it's so good. But I think I should cut the bullshit here and let's, let's go back to the tutorial. So I'm going to show you guys how you can play the Dolby Atmos. First I'm going to show you uh, how you can play the Dolby Atmos on the Plex app on Nvidia Shield. So I'm going to hit OK and this is the Plex app. So beautiful. And uh, let's go to library. And I have 4K HDR movies here. I'm going to play, OK, let's play Jimanji. I'm not gonna play the video and audio for longer because uh, I, I get the copyright hits for playing even for 5-6 seconds so I'll just show you a glimpse of it and maybe a couple of bits and pieces so you can the main thing is to tell you guys how you can get the Dolby Atmos on and if you have the equipment available you can get the benefit out of it so let's get into it and I'm gonna hit play for Jumanji as you can see this is the very most important thing this movie is in the uh, 4K True HD 7.1 this is what you need for Dolby Atmos bit, bit of stream so if you have a file which is DDS or um, I mean it's a uh, it's D it's not gonna do Dolby Atmos so for, for sure and you're playing a content it has to be a relevant content so you have to look for the True HD 7.1 and if you're looking for 4K HDR you have to look for H265 which is HEVC high efficiency uh, video codec if you have H264 that's gonna do only 4K maximum it can do HDR10 so when you are you know downloading the movies or you getting the files so make sure if you want HDR10 file and you want Atmos you have to look for two things H265 and True HD 7.1 Dolby Atmos let's hit play for this movie and I'm gonna show you before I play this what source I'm getting right now I'm using Denon uh, X3400H receiver right now so you can see the input right now is stereo and I'm getting the X, uh, active speaker also is stereo and with subwoofer for sure but when we're gonna play the Jumanji you're gonna see um, how it will update to Dolby Atmos and I'm gonna get sound from uh, all my speakers which are 5.1.2 so you, you saw up there on top that is playing uh, HDR okay so it's playing I'm gonna mute it so that you guys can listen to me and I don't get the copyright hit for showing the Columbia Pictures logo okay 
So you can see here that I'm playing this content on Nvidia Shield TV. It's uh, getting the Dolby Atmos sound and the signal is Dolby Atmos through HD. And if you see over here now, my active speakers are front Dolby and the uh, front Dolby left and right are active. And uh, I wish it could stay for longer. Okay. And subwoofer, front channel, center, and uh, surround. So all 5.1.2 is active right now and playing the Dolby Atmos True HD. So that's the signal I'm getting and this is the output I'm getting. I can also show it to you guys that uh, if you have multiple audio options in your uh, movie file so you can go to the settings and make sure you're playing the play original quality you're not uh, transcoding or you're not converting it down to 1080p or something like that okay now this thing is done but before I was not getting this Dolby Atmos sound so I just wanted to show you first like this is what I'm getting now uh, I paused it so there's no signal let's hit play so my receiver is getting the Atmos signal and let's see this now so if you want to get this on your Plex TV and if you're using the Nvidia Shield TV, now I'm going to tell you how you can get all this. So let's just stop this Jumanji movie and go to the Plex server settings. Okay, so go to the settings which is the last option and go to settings from here and go to the advanced settings you don't have to change anything over here I think there is there's no option that you can change it's just internet streaming that you can change but you have to go to advanced go to advanced and this is the first option very important which is disabled by default which is pass through so if you turn on this feature it's gonna pass through your audio Dolby Atmos audio to your receiver directly without decoding it within the Plex server so you have to do what do auto for this so this is gonna pass through all the audio to your receiver and your receiver will take care of it. Make sure your refresh switch rate switching is also on. This was a problem with the uh, Apple TV where like if you're playing 30 frames per second but you know like you're still playing the 60 frames per second it creates like a lot of glitches. So make sure the refresh rate switch is on so it will play your content accordingly if you're playing 60 frames per second or 30 or 24 frames per second. Okay this is a very important option right here. H.264 maximum level so if by default this option is right here 5.2 recommended or because 5.2 is if you have two subwoofers and remaining five surround channels so H.264 is actually has to do something with the with the video so they want you to stay at H.264 maximum level with sound output 5.2 which is uh, just the surround sound 5.1 but you're not going to get the Dolby Atmos. So you have to disable it. Okay, by doing this, you're getting two things. One, that you are getting the Dolby Atmos sound. And the other one is that you are playing the H.265 also, which is uh, responsible for playing the HDR10 output. So doing this, you're resolving two things. So disable it, and you will be good to go. So I've showed you, this, this is all what you have to do. Disable the H.264 maximum level, and pass through to auto that will resolve your audio and refresh rate will resolve your refresh rate issues but to get Atmos pass through has to be auto I'm repeating it a lot of time but making sure that you guys get it right H.264 disable and pass through auto you're gonna get the Dolby uh, Atmos sound easily now I'm gonna disable it and show you how it is by default so if you have pass through disable and if you have H.264 5.2 recommended okay let's keep it to 5.2 so now I'm gonna go back and play so I'm trying to actually uh, create the problem that you guys are having so you will understand better that what you will be looking at because I have already solved the issue and I'm getting the Dolby Atmos but I'm gonna go back to the same movie that I played so 4K HDR movies oh the movie was already out why I'm so bad about navigating the menu okay um, this is frustrating it was outside right here Okay, I'm gonna play this and see how the audio is now. Even though the file source is true HD 7.1, but that doesn't mean it's gonna play Atmos because of my settings are now, you know, the Plex default setting. So let's see this.
even though it's giving me the warning right now that audio pass through sends digital audio directly to your TV to TV or receiver that can greatly improve your pla playback experience but it is set to uh, disable already in your case so let's say disable and I'm gonna resume playing from the same way we stopped so you can see right now here that it is a oh, mute again so now if you look at over here now that we turned off all those options as uh, 265 we have turned back on because it's gonna play H264 sorry H264 maximum level so it's not gonna play H265 so here you can see that the active speakers I have only 5.1 surround sound available and the input if you look at the input it, it is detecting as multi-channel because we turned off H265 and we are not passing through the pass through we, we have disabled the pass through as well so this is what I want to show you. So if you guys are seeing this on your Plex server, on your Nvidia Shield, and if you have Dolby Atmos equipment, you should do the setting that I aforementioned, and you should be good to go with Dolby Atmos. Alright guys, so that's all from this video. I hope you guys uh, like this video, and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you guys can get more informative videos in future. And uh, I'll see you guys in another video. Peace out.